Hello Pisces, welcome to my channel Cancer Moon Oracles. My name is Rose and I'm here to bring you another weekly love read. We're going to dive on in and ask the tarot cards today, who is interested in you? So for those of you who are keen to know who this person is, if you're slightly curious and you want to know who's crushing on you or who's secretly admiring you, stick around guys. This is going to be a three card spread. I won't be reading Reversals Pisces, but if you enjoy this read, let me know by liking, sharing, and or subscribing here today. Oh, we've got one showing itself through very clearly here. We've got the Queen of Wands. Um, this is for entertainment purposes, guys. So do keep that in mind. If you require something a little more specific or suited to your current situation, by all means, feel free to reach out. All the details on how to work with me uh, will be in the show more section below. Okay, now for those of you who want to know what tarot deck I'm using here today, this is the Lumina Tarot by Inner Hue. It's one of my very first tarot decks that I ever purchased and I love this deck. It is absolutely gorgeous and I highly recommend to get your hands on it. So, all right. Um, okay, so the signs of the person that could be interested or that is interested in you here uh, with the Queen of Wands, it would be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. With the King of Pentacles, could be a strong earth sign, uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But let's start with the Queen of Wands, okay? Um, the Queen of Wands to me is a very foxy energy. Okay, this is the energy of someone who turns heads. Okay, this person may receive a lot of attention from a lot of people. Uh, this Queen of Wands may have a lot of admirers. I do get the sense that this person, even with the King of Pentacles, that this person is highly attractive. Okay, very good looking, very appealing to the eye, very beautiful, very ch striking, charming. Um, but it is the queen. So let's describe the queen. I'm kind of like floating in between the, ki the queen and the king here. You know, charming. Um, mm. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> I think that speaks for itself, doesn't it? <laughs> Pisces. Okay, so the queen of wands, she's also very inspiring and empowering energy. Okay, so I do feel like uh, this person may um, inspire you in some way, may excite you in some way. The Queen of Wands is also very sexual energy. Okay, we have a fox by her here. So she's very foxy, very sexual. This person is very turned on by you. Um, and this person is very comfortable in their skin. They may, they may be attracted to your body. Um... There is definitely a chemistry and a physical attraction here with this person. I'm also getting that this person may be intuitive as well. The Queen of Wands is very intuitive. I have to let you know that. So, um, but they're more, their intuition, her intuition is more governed by her animal instincts, like her gut instinct, okay? And I feel like this person's got a very big heart. Yeah, so when, when they're feeling it, they're feeling it. And I feel like this person's really feeling it here with you. Now, with the King of Pentacles, this could be someone that you work with. It could be someone in your workplace. It could be a family connection as well. I'm getting with the King of Pentacles that this person may work in real estate. Um, this person may be an accountant or a finance officer or works in finance. Um, this person may even crunch numbers, okay? <coughs> um, I'm also getting the sense that this person is quite successful or is very is all about the status like yeah i do feel like um the king of pentacles is a is a successful businessman 
Uh, this may be the energy of someone who runs their own business. But always thinks long term, okay? This person thinks long term. The King of Pentacles is an energy of someone who wants family, who wants marriage. You know, when the King of Pentacles commits, he, he, he's all in. I do feel like there's a friendly energy coming through with this person. Um, I'm also getting that they can come across a little bit intimidating. But underneath, they're very friendly. They're very gentle. Um, they've got a big heart. They're a cuddly kind of nature. But they're also very reserved as well. So when they're on at work, when they're in a particular role, um, they're all business-like. They're all very, like, prim and proper. But when they're at home and they're in their own environment, they're more relaxed, they're more howdy-doody, um, and this person loves cuddles because I'm seeing the, te the bear here and I feel like the bear is like a big teddy bear. You know, loves cuddles, is a big friendly giant. <laughs> um, I'm also like, even in this King of Pentacles, he's wearing a suit. So this person may wear suits. Very attractive, very good looking. I can smell him from here. Okay, likes to wear cologne, likes to wear aftershave or a parfum or a parfum. Um, very well dressed and um, if they're not into brands then this person that the way they dress just very just neat and tidy and, and immaculate and very well presented you know uh, never leaves the house disheveled put it that way and I'm getting something about this person's shoes Okay, something about their shoes. May even have a shoe fetish. I don't know. <laughs> okay, so the Nine of Wands. Um, look, I do get that the, there's a reservation coming through with this person, with the Nine of Wands. And I say that because these wands are sort of like forming a wall. It looks like a wall here. Um, so there is a reservation coming through, even though this person's interested in you. What's the reservation? It could be that, you know, career or work or their job comes first. Could be the priority here. Okay. Or this person might feel that you're a little hard to reach. They may feel like you've got the wall up. for whatever reason okay but again the wands energy this is passion okay this is excitement this is attraction this person is definitely keen on what they see they're definitely interested in you um it could be that just this person has to fight for you or work for you in some way Yeah, I'm getting that this person, I, I honestly feel like work is their priority. So just because they're interested in you doesn't mean that this person wants a relationship either um, right now, right? Like they probably will at some point, um, but right now I, I definitely feel like their job or their career or making money is definitely taking precedence. So there's something blocking this connection or blocking this relationship from really coming together. Okay. Maybe this person's been hurt before. I mean, the nine of wands can definitely indicate someone's been wounded. So maybe this person's been hurt before, you know, they've been down that road, they've, 
because the king of pentacles he um when he commits he commits he's all in right he's not someone to walk away from a relationship willy-nilly um so if he has gone through some kind of a divorce or a breakdown of a relationship um he's not going to enter into a new one lightly right so there is something about this king of pentacles wanting to take his time he is a slow moving energy and that could come across quite frustrating mm. again even these wands they're kind of like they're kind of like heading up to the sky which tells me that this person is definitely building something. I mean, this even looks like a pyramid, okay? So it's all about the status or building something that is, um, that's going to generate success in the future. So it's all about, you know, climbing the career ladder or hitting or achieving some kind of success. Is building something here okay so there we have it Pisces I hope you enjoyed this read and until next time take care